into you. And take a look behind me, Joel. This post right here is what we're going to be renovating. Now, I know it looks dark and it's kind of quiet right now. That's not going to be the case later on today. Like you said, about 100 volunteers. We're looking at a new ceiling. What well, what will be a new ceiling, landscaping, um, carpet, flooring, you name it. They're going to be painting, you name it, everything that they could possibly do to make this post a little bit better for veterans like Bob Wilson. They're going to be doing it. Bob tells me that they are number one in the country for doing community service. So we know you are very involved in the community and knowing that the Home Depot and, and um, people that work for the Home Depot are giving back today. How does it make you feel? Oh, we're ecstatic. We're ecstatic. The building needs a lot of help and we're very ha- happy that Home Depot has decided to give us the time and money to, to upgrade the building. I know you told me you're a Navy man. Tell me how long you've been working here. How long I've been working in the Navy or working here? Well, both. Both. I've been with the Post for 10 years. I've been with the Navy for 34 years. Wow, congratulations. Thank you for your service. Um, 10 years, what kind of things, you know, were, were we struggling with inside there? Money, <laughs> like everybody else, money. Uh, we, we do fish fries on Friday. We have pasties on uh, Monday, Tuesday, a third. We support the Boy Scouts. Uh, we have a support group here that's sent over 15,000 boxes since it started in 03. And those are overseas, right? O- overseas, yeah. Oh, strictly overseas, yes. Well, instead of you guys doing all the work for us, we're going to be doing some work for you, so we appreciate you. And there will be more people joining us in our broadcast, as always, Joel. So we'll We'll see some people out here working a little bit later. Sounds good. Brittany Noble reporting live in Burton this morning.